Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is October 22nd, 2024, and we have a lineup of fascinating stories from the world of Apple and beyond. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Apple is making waves with the introduction of groundbreaking hearing health features for the AirPods Pro 2. Set to launch with iOS 18.1, these features include clinical-grade hearing aid functionality, a hearing test, and enhanced hearing protection. This positions the AirPods Pro as a viable over-the-counter hearing aid, potentially reshaping how earbuds are perceived in social settings. The hearing protection feature, active by default, uses a new algorithm to reduce harmful noise while maintaining sound quality. However, it may not be effective against extremely loud, sudden sounds. The hearing test, designed for quiet environments, assesses users' hearing capabilities and stores results in the Health app. Users can also import professional test results to configure the hearing aid feature, which is tailored for adults with mild to moderate hearing loss. While the AirPods Pro 2 offers a more affordable alternative to traditional hearing aids, they may not be suitable for everyone, especially those with severe hearing loss. Battery life is also a consideration, as the hearing aid function reduces usage time compared to standard hearing aids. This innovation marks a significant milestone in the integration of technology and health, with expectations that other tech companies will follow suit. In a strategic move, Disney Plus and Hulu have announced that they will no longer allow new subscribers to sign up through their iOS apps. Instead, users are directed to their websites to complete account setup. This decision is likely aimed at avoiding Apple's commission on subscription revenues, a strategy previously adopted by other streaming services like Netflix and Spotify. Existing subscribers who signed up through Apple will continue to be billed through the App Store. This shift highlights ongoing tensions between app developers and Apple over revenue-sharing practices, as companies seek to retain more control over their subscription models. Indonesia's government has ordered Apple and Google to remove the Chinese e-commerce app Temu from their app stores, citing concerns over its unregistered status in the country. The move is part of efforts to protect local micro, small, and medium enterprises from unhealthy competition, as Temu offers products at significantly lower prices due to direct sales from foreign factories. The government also raised concerns about product quality and potential harm to consumers. This reflects a broader trend of countries taking measures to safeguard their local economies against foreign competition. A new Tiddlywiki app for Apple devices is in development, aiming to simplify the user experience by integrating the full Node.js configuration of Tiddlywiki. The app allows users to download and run it without technical knowledge, providing an empty tiddly wiki that automatically syncs changes to the file system. While it currently supports only a single wiki at a time, future updates are expected to introduce multi-wiki server capabilities. The developer envisions the app as a potential competitor to popular note-taking applications like Obsidian and Notion, with plans for monetization through optional premium features or subscriptions. The app is still in its early stages, requiring further development to ensure robustness and usability. Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, recently stated that while Apple was not the first to enter the artificial intelligence space, it aims to be the best. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, Cook acknowledged that Apple has been working on AI, referred to as machine learning, for over a decade, but is currently perceived to be behind competitors by as much as two years. He emphasized that Apple prioritizes quality and user experience over being first to market. Cook expressed confidence in the upcoming Apple intelligence, which he claims has already positively impacted his daily life by helping him manage his email more efficiently. The rollout of Apple intelligence is set to occur in stages, with the first major release expected on October 28, 2024. The Apple Music Hi-Res Albums Database is a platform designed for users to register and share high-resolution lossless albums available on Apple Music. As of October 19, 2024, the database has surpassed 1,000 registered albums thanks to contributions from users. Recent updates have improved the homepage content and added features like multi-criteria filtering, 
and support for non-US storefronts. Users can easily add albums by logging in with their Apple ID and following a simple process to check the sample rate, copy the album link, and paste it into the app. The platform is designed to be responsive, making it accessible on various devices. Apple is reportedly developing new versions of its Magic Mouse, Magic Trackpad, and Magic Keyboard, as indicated by code found in the iOS 18.1 release candidate. The new devices are expected to include a Magic Mouse 2, Magic Trackpad 2, and various models of the Magic Keyboard, some of which may feature Touch ID and number pads. A significant change anticipated for these accessories is the transition from Lightning to USB-C ports for charging, aligning with Apple's broader shift to USB-C across its product line. These new accessories are likely to be unveiled alongside upcoming M4 Mac models, including refreshed versions of the MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, and iMac, which are rumored to be released in October. The Bivai AI camera app is designed specifically for e-commerce and social media sellers, aiming to enhance product photography and boost sales. It features real-time attention heat maps that help users visualize focus areas in their photos, along with an attention score that predicts the image's captivating potential. Users can also upload existing photos for analysis to improve their appeal and visibility. The app provides a seamless camera experience, offering real-time feedback while capturing images. Bivai is particularly beneficial for sellers on platforms like Amazon, Etsy, and Instagram, as it helps create professional quality photos that stand out. Vibing is a new app designed to enhance social connections and dating through AI-driven features. It allows users to share real-life moments and create vlogs with the help of an AI assistant named Vivi. The app focuses on making it easy to connect with like-minded individuals by generating images and videos that express users' feelings. Users can tag their vlogs and voice expressions to highlight common interests, facilitating better understanding between potential matches. Once two users respond to each other's moments, they can enter a one-on-one -on -one chat where interactive questions help maintain engagement. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Remember to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of Apple and technology. Until then, stay informed and stay connected.